All right, guys, I've been sitting on this fragrance for a little bit. I've had it for, a few, I don't know, maybe two, three months now. It's the new formulation of Mill Ave from Icon de Parfum, which is an indie house based out of Arizona. I have the original formulation that he dropped back in February. Loved it, smelled great. I'm gonna tell you guys how the new formulation differs a little bit from the original and what you're going to get if you do order Mill Ave today. Welcome to the fragrance wardrobe. All right, so when you order from Icon de Parfum, you will get a fragrance like this. It's gonna be a stock bottle, but you have the laser etching of the logo. Also, can you see it right there? Mill Ave, maybe, I don't know. Uh, it's laser etched on the bottom as well, so that's pretty cool, and he actually does that by hand. You have a stock cap that's copper, stock copper atomizer, and your atomizer performs pretty well. Scent is pretty good. So this one definitely is a little bit different. The reason the reformulation, I do believe, is that some of the oils he was using in the original formulation were no longer available to him. So he created this one. Now, in the original, I do believe it listed maybe like bergamot, cedar, watermelon, I think. It only listed three notes. Now, in this one, there are more notes listed, such as apple, um, and in the opening, you do get a little bit more of a fruity feel from it. You, the original kind of had a little bit of a Y-E-D-T feel, but not like a clone, a copy, or anything like that. It just kind of came across that way a little bit, but with a really nice watermelon. This one will open up a little bit more fruitier, I think. Uh, almost a little candied fruit. Uh, you'll get the watermelon. I think there's a decent little blend with the apple, and you get the cedar coming through much more with the new formulation of Mill Ave than with the old formulation. The cedar, I think, plays a huge role in this fragrance from, I'd say, I'd say maybe like for the first 10 minutes, like 10 minutes after you spray it, all the way through the life of the fragrance, you're gonna get that cedar. There's some musk in here as well, but really for me, you're getting like this woody, uh, dry woody type of fragrance with the cedar, and you do have the watermelon. It does come out, and it gives a little bit of a nice, unique scent to this indie fragrance. Uh, all in all, it's just a really good fragrance. It does perform pretty well also. The new formulation for me does perform better than the original. The original formulation, I was actually getting like maybe five to six hours of performance longevity wise with a solid one and a half or so of projection. With the new formulation, however, I'm actually getting a lot longer. Um, I actually did talk to uh, Icon. We were discussing the, form, the performance on this the day I happened to be wearing it again. And uh, I was timing it and I was actually getting more like seven hours out of it, maybe like even eight. And this thing actually performed a lot better for me than the original. And I think it's because of that cedar. I don't know what oils or anything like that changed, but to me, there might be more cedar in this one or it's just a little bit more dominant. It does make this fragrance perform a little bit longer, I think, on my skin. Uh, so yeah, I'm getting about seven to eight, which is pretty solid. For the projection, I'm getting a solid two hours of pretty decent little bubble. I wouldn't go as far to say wingspan, but maybe just a little bit less than wingspan. Uh, so it is gonna give you a pretty good little scent bubble for that first two hours. You, the sillage is there. You're going to have that scent trail that people desire when they're buying fragrances. And even once the projection starts to die down, it never becomes like a skin scent. You'll still pick up wafts of it. You'll still have a scent trail uh, as you pass by people. People will notice your fragrance. Uh, all in all, very well done. The oils come across just really good. They don't come across synthetic, anything like that. They're very natural. They smell like quality oils. It does to me, I don't know what the oil concentration is, but to me, it appears to have a pretty decent oil concentration as well. So all in all, it's a really good fragrance. Definitely something original. Uh, it's not copying anything or anything like that. It's definitely just a really cool, original, 
and he said that you can pick it up pretty affordably for like $39.99. I believe it's $39.99 plus your shipping, which is like four or five bucks if you're in the United States. So definitely worth checking out. And he does offer discovery kits and they are the nicest discovery kits, like the nicest decants I have come across, I think. I think they're the nicest. Order a discovery kit. Check out all of his offerings if you haven't already because I mean he just he puts the the details into his work and there's bound to be a fragrance from the house that you're going to enjoy. All right guys, thank you for watching the review. Uh, if you would, please do give me a like, give me a subscribe, comment down below if you've tried anything from this house, if you've heard anything about this house, anything like that. I'd like to hear your feedback on what you think of Icon Day Parfum and Mill Ave. All right. Again, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.